And turning to the Middle East, Paul, the British warplanes have launched their first airstrikes against Islamic State targets in Iraq as part of U.S. efforts to wipe out this extremist group. How did this military operation play out on the ground? Well, Britain's defense ministry released on Tuesday a video showing aerial attacks on what it has said to have been IS weapon caches and an armed truck in northwestern Iraq. The mission came four days after UK's parliament approved the country to join the US and France in supporting Kurdish forces holding off militants on the ground. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Tony Abbott said on Wednesday that Australia will join the fight against the radical insurgents in Iraq, but stressed it would initially play a support role. We have not yet made the final decision to commit our forces to combat, but Australian aircraft from today will start flying over Iraq in support of Allied operations. Uh, Australian airstrikes await final clearances from the Iraqi government and a further decision by our own. Australia has been on high alert for attacks by homegrown militants returning from fighting in the Middle East, raising its threat level to high and undertaking a series of anti-terrorism raids in major cities this past month. This as a growing U.S.-led coalition continues to bombard IS targets in Syria near the Turkish border.